Are you ready to take your athletic performance to the next level? Welcome to the world of plyometric training, a dynamic and explosive form of exercise designed to supercharge your athleticism. With its roots in Eastern European athletic training, plyometrics, also known as jump training, has gained global recognition for its efficacy in enhancing muscle power, strength, agility, speed, and balance. Imagine the power of a sprinter exploding off the blocks, the agility of a gymnast executing a flawless flip, or the speed of a basketball player making that crucial leap for the hoop. That's the kind of raw power plyometric training can unlock. It's not just for professional athletes either. Whether you're just setting foot on your fitness journey, or you're a seasoned workout warrior, plyometrics can amp up your routine, igniting your metabolism and challenging your muscles in new, exciting ways. Now, prepare to unlock your explosive potential as we dive into the first exercise. Our first plyometric exercise is the squat jump, a powerful move to ignite your leg muscles. Squat jumps, a fundamental plyometric exercise, are designed to pack a punch. With each explosive leap, you're not only working your quads, hamstrings, and glutes, but also enhancing your vertical jump and overall athletic performance. So how do you perform a squat jump correctly? Let's break it down. First, stand tall with your feet shoulder width apart. This is your starting position. You should feel grounded, stable, and ready to spring into action. Next, engage your core and bend at the hips and knees to lower into a squat. Imagine sitting back into a chair. Keep your chest lifted and your spine neutral. Your thighs should be parallel to the floor, and your knees should be tracking over your toes. This is the squat portion. Now here comes the jump. Explode upwards from your squat, pushing through your heels and using your arms to add momentum. Aim to jump as high as you can, reaching for the sky with your fingertips. As you land, ensure your knees are soft to absorb the impact. Immediately lower back into your squat to prepare for the next jump. This is one rep. A few things to keep in mind. Maintain a steady pace and prioritize form over speed. It's better to perform fewer, well-executed jumps than to rush through a set with poor form. And remember, always listen to your body. If you feel any discomfort, take a break. Squat jumps are a challenging exercise, but don't be discouraged if you can't jump very high at first. With consistency and effort, you'll see progress in no time. And finally, don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you jump and inhale as you squat. Proper breathing can help you power through your workout and keep fatigue at bay. Feel the burn in your legs? That's your power building up. Ready for the next move? Next on the list is the box jump, a classic plyometric exercise that targets your lower body. Box jumps are a fantastic way to strengthen your legs, glutes, and core, while also improving your balance and coordination. But what makes them a staple in any plyometric training routine is their ability to enhance your explosive power and speed. So how should you perform a box jump? Well, let's break it down. First, stand in front of a sturdy box or step. The height will depend on your personal fitness level, but for beginners, a box around knee height is a good starting point. You want to challenge yourself, but safety is paramount, so make sure you can land softly and maintain balance. Next, descend into a quarter squat, swinging your arms back as you do so. This is your springboard position. Then, using your legs and arms, explode upwards, driving your knees up and swinging your arms forward for momentum. Aim to land softly on the balls of your feet, bending your knees slightly to absorb the impact. Once you've landed, stand up straight, extending your hips and knees fully. Then, step back down one foot at a time, reset your position, and you're ready for the next jump. Now, if you're a beginner or have knee issues, there are modifications you can make. Instead of jumping, you can step onto the box one foot at a time, then step back down. This still offers a great workout for your lower body without the high impact. Remember, the key to mastering the box jump is to focus on form over height. It's not about how high you can jump, but how well you can jump. With consistent practice, you'll see improvements in your power, speed, and overall athletic performance. Excellent work. Now let's move on to the next challenge. Now, we're going to turn up the heat with burpee broad jumps. This high-intensity plyometric exercise is a game changer, combining the muscle-building power of burpees with the explosive energy of broad jumps. It's a full-body workout that will elevate your heart rate, challenge your muscles, and ignite your metabolism. Let's break it down. Start standing tall, feet shoulder-width apart. Drop into a squat position, placing your hands flat on the floor in front of you. Kick your feet back into a plank, 
keeping your body straight and your core engaged. Now here's the burpee part. Lower your chest to touch the floor, then push up into a plank position again. Hop your feet back in towards your hands and swiftly rise to a standing position. But we're not done yet. This is where the broad jump comes in. From your standing position, bend your knees, swing your arms back, and then launch yourself forward in a broad jump, landing softly into a squat. That's one rep. This exercise is all about explosive power and controlled movements. You want to move quickly, but not at the expense of your form. Keep your core engaged throughout, your back straight during the plank, and remember to land softly to protect your joints. Burpee broad jumps are tough, but they are incredibly effective. They target your legs, glutes, core, and upper body all at once, while also improving your cardiovascular fitness. Plus, they're a great way to improve your power, agility, and speed. Key Components of Athletic Performance As with any exercise, start with a number of reps that feels challenging, but achievable. As you build strength and stamina, you can increase the number of reps or add more sets. Remember, the goal isn't just to get through the reps, but to execute each one with precision, power, and control. That's how you maximize the benefits of this exercise and truly power up your plyometrics. Just like that, you've added another powerful tool to your plyometric training arsenal. Great job! Remember, consistency is key in plyometric training. Well done! You've powered through some intense plyometric exercises today. As we bring this session to a close, let's take a moment to recap and reflect on the journey we've just embarked on together. We dove headfirst into the dynamic world of plyometric training, pushing our bodies to the limit with squat jumps, box jumps, and burpee broad jumps. Each of these exercises serves a unique purpose, honing in on our speed, agility, and explosive power. They challenge our muscles, ignite our metabolism, and above all, they empower us to tap into our full athletic potential. Squat jumps, for instance, target the quads, hamstrings, and glutes, providing a full lower body workout. Box jumps, on the other hand, are all about precision and control, testing our balance and coordination. Then we have the burpee broad jumps, an intense full body exercise that combines strength, cardio, and flexibility. But remember, the power of plyometrics extends beyond the physical. It's about discipline, determination, and the will to push past our boundaries. It's about embracing the burn, feeling the rush, and savoring the thrill of every leap. And let's not forget the importance of a proper cool down. After a rigorous plyometric session, stretching is essential to help your muscles recover and reduce the risk of injury. So take a few minutes to stretch, breathe, and pat yourself on the back. You've earned it. Incorporating these plyometric exercises into your regular workout routine can significantly enhance your athletic performance. It's not about overnight success, but consistent effort, day in and day out. And with each passing day, you'll notice the difference. You'll run faster, jump higher, and you'll feel stronger. So as we wrap up, I encourage you to keep up the good work. Keep challenging yourself, keep striving for progress, and keep making every leap count. Keep pushing your limits and your athletic performance will reach new heights. Remember, your only limit is you.